Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brendan and welcome back to another cryptocurrency video. And today we need to talk about exactly what is going on right now because as most cryptocurrency markets continue to dump, I am seeing multiple different buying opportunities at a couple of different levels. So if that sounds interesting at all, make sure you stick around for the entire length of this video as there will be important information discussed the entire way through and I wanna make sure that I'm clear about what I'm buying and where I'm buying it at. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break down Bitcoin first and take an overall look at what the markets have been doing. Now, obviously Bitcoin taking a little bit of a leg down here, which was no surprise because if you have been watching any of the recent videos, I mentioned that as we get closer to that $50,000 area, there is a layer of support in between 57 and $50,000, which I wanna highlight as the bottom of this previous head and shoulders pattern. Now we can see this is exactly where we rejected. We go ahead and look right over here. This makes sense as an area where we would see resistance. It was the previous bottom of this head and shoulders, what was previously support and also the bottom of a formation now turned into resistance. So this really did come to no surprise. Obviously, there was going to be some sort of a resistance here. <clears throat> and the idea is that we're going to come back maybe potentially, um, if there's enough bears, maybe towards like 41, 42,000, where we start seeing some more support on Bitcoin. Now, why I imagine this area is going to be a support above all else is because, of course, we have what was previously resistance, not once, not twice, but even like three or four times until we broke out of it. I imagine this now being support, but we also have the previous top being right in this area. Area. We also have some support from the wicks and then of course some uh, more pr uh, Excuse me some more former resistance now turned support which we have seen as it worked in su as support in the past so with this lining up to where we're at right now I want to take a quick look at what the markets have been doing because Bitcoin's down just over 1% today excuse me, about 2.5%, Ethereum down almost 4%, Binance coin almost down 2.5%, and of course some of the other altcoins taking even deeper dives beyond this, pushing into the 8, 9, 10, and even 11% uh, as we start getting into the top 15, top 20. So lots of potential out here. I mean, again, some of these coins like Solana are still really green on the week, and in fact, even green on the day, but I wanna take a deeper dive into what I think some great buying opportunities are because as the price of cryptocurrency falls, <clears throat> this is in my opinion, just the start of another bull run or another bull market potential. Now, where this could lead us to is again, very up for debate. Is that gonna be close to an all-time high? Is that gonna be above an all-time high? I think that that's a, uh, a topic for a separate video. But with where we're at right now, of course, I am going to be doing a little bit of buying in this area, a little bit more hesitant, probably going to keep this buying to maybe Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then if this continues to fall closer to that 42, 41, maybe even um, $40,000 area, then that's where I'm going to do some more buying uh, potentially uh, of the altcoins. Because I think that this is potentially a pretty risky area to enter in the altcoins because there isn't too much support up in here. Obviously, we have a very little support line, and I want to break this down on a four hour so that we can see this. But what that would look like is something on the long the lines of this. Now we can see a little bit as well on the daily. So if we zoom out like this, we can see that this guy has been forming just like this, which we, we can zoom in and see. So definitely some daily support. I think we can see it maybe a little bit better on the four hour, but you guys get the overall picture here. You know, there is some support right here. So I am going to be doing a little bit of buying of some of the larger market cap cryptocurrencies. And the reason behind that is because they are, in my opinion, less risky, and they're also going to be less volatile. So if I want something that where Bitcoin might move 5% to the downside, maybe a lower market cap altcoin could move 8%. So I'm mitigating risk here, but still wanting to get in some sort of a position uh, because I think this is uh, still a very discounted price for Bitcoin. So of course we have the golden cross coming into play as I mentioned in one of the previous videos. This is kind of going to really kind of be my golden area to accumulate Bitcoin. Above this golden cross, but kind of um, in this range where we're at right now. So maybe between like 38 and, or 39 even, uh, and 42,000 I think is gonna be that golden pocket in my opinion if it can reach that level. Um, there's obviously the potential that things are too bullish to, to not even get down that low. But one thing that definitely sent me for a little bit of a loop today is I saw this double bearish divergence on the MACD, which I guess I can highlight just a little bit further than the quick glance that I did. But this is what that would look like, showing that there's a lower uh, levels of bullish momentum upon this most recent attempt to the upside. And also, I'm seeing a little bit of a similar motion here on this daily RSI. Um, 
and I can go ahead and highlight this one as well, showing that the Bulls are looking a little bit more weaker in here, <clears throat> but as they are already moving back into a fairly neutral territory, uh, I don't see why um, this couldn't go for another leg up. Now, obviously, it's very likely that at some point this is going to test probably back in the low 40s to get a ultimate higher swing low, and then we're probably going to see the next large rally. Um, but I don't think that that's not to say that we can't have upside in Bitcoin in the meantime. And ultimately, I, I want to make very clear that I think that the overall trend of, of cryptocurrency as a whole is still pointing upwards. And I think that the Golden Cross is a signal that the macros are overall looking good. So... Um, those are, I guess, a couple of the levels that I am looking at. So while I am mainly looking to accumulate Bitcoin or Ethereum uh, above 42,000, I would say, <clears throat> as we do get closer to maybe like 42, 41, 40, even 39, um, as Bitcoin's price correlation, I would at that point then be a little bit more obligated to buy altcoins. So maybe like Bat, Engine, um, uh, Polkadot, and uh, a couple of other ones. So maybe I'm like a Mise Go. Um, there's a lot of other ones that I like, even Cardano, Chainlink. So the, the, the list goes on and I could, <laughs> I could probably list too many altcoins for, for me to be healthy investing in. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you did enjoy. Obviously a lot of content packed into this video. I try not to make the videos too long, which sometimes results in me talking faster than I need to. But if you did enjoy the content and wanna see more ones like this, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. I have a pretty cool video that will be coming out, I believe, before this video. This should come out in the afternoon, but in the morning, I'm actually gonna be posting a video where I did an interview with The Daily Wire where they questioned my thoughts about why I'm bullish on cryptocurrency. So if you wanna check that out, check out the video right before this one, and you should see an interview with me on The Michael Knowles Show to talk a little bit more about just why I believe cryptocurrency is gonna be a big part of the future. With that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you liked, I hope you subscribed, and I wanna see you in the comments down below. But until next time, I will see you all very, very soon.